Welcome back. The million dollar question in Frisco, Texas this week is all about Carson Wentz. Will he play? Won't he play? Beth Hool did some digging and she joins us live in Frisco. Hey, Beth, what'd you find out for us? Well, you're absolutely right, Alex. It's the hot question down here in Frisco, Texas, and Bison fans aren't the only ones asking it. They did release today that Carson Wentz has been sick the last couple of days. It's a cold, apparently. Coach Clyman saying that today. He's been fighting those symptoms the last couple of days. Yesterday, they had him with some limited work that then put him to bed fairly early. They're expecting the same game plan today. There's still plenty of time until kickoff on Saturday, though, and plenty of time for him to be healthy in multiple ways. With that, I had the opportunity to ask the Jacksonville State players who they're preparing for. You guys preparing for Carson Wentz at quarterback? Uh, yes, ma'am, but, I mean, he's doubtful, so who knows if he'll come in, but hopefully he does. We're preparing. You know, when he's in, they do more passing the ball, you know, and when when 12 in, they more try to protect him and run the ball, so we're preparing for both of them. We're just playing for the whole NDSU, you know, special team-wise and defensive-wise, and they have a great team. They have a great running back and great quarterback, and there's really not much that you can do with those guys but stop them. If you can't stop them, it's going to be a long day. <coughs> A lot of respect from the Gamecocks for the Bison today. The JSU players really just saying they're ready to play this football game, and that's a sentiment the Bison are absolutely echoing. But what I wanted to know from NDSU players was, who's playing quarterback? Do we see Carson? Uh, I don't know. I really don't know. I'm worried about uh, what Jacksonville State is doing, but uh, you might have to ask them that. <laughs> I don't know. I can't answer that question. <laughs> You got to wait and find out. Who do we see this weekend? Give us some insight. You know, I'm really excited for the game. <laughs> uh, I don't want to, I, I am not 100% sure. I mean, I got a little inkling, but I don't want to share anything. So it's just as, it's just as close-lipped on, on the inside as it is on the outside? Yeah, I would say so, yeah. <laughs> I, either quarterback, whoever plays, is ready to play. They're both ready to play, so we'll see. Not a lot of information coming out of the Bison camp, that's for sure. I did get the opportunity to talk to Easton Stick today. He made his first trip down to Frisco last year as a redshirt, and he admits that this year feels a whole lot different for him, something he says that makes him extremely thankful that Carson Wentz is by his side, a sentence that he has said multiple times throughout this season. Maybe the most irritated, though, by the Carson Wentz question, the very guy who brought it up when the Bison were preparing for Northern Iowa in the playoffs. That's right, head coach Chris Kleiman. I heard him field maybe half a dozen to a dozen questions about this from various media outlets today in just the five minutes I was standing near him he of course had no real answer for him on it we are expecting to hear from Carson Wentz tomorrow he's supposed to take the podium and talk at a press conference as the, the NCAA holds we'll of course be watching for that one but I can promise you there will be no answer on this one until Saturday during the football game but we'll still be covering plenty of Wentz watch 2015 well 16 now guys uh, that's all for now. We've got plenty more coming up. Going to head over to the barbecue bowl here in a little bit and check out what the guys are doing to relax a little bit. We'll be live again tonight at 10, though. For now, though, from Toyota Stadium, Beth Wool, Valley News Live Sports. All right. Thank you very much, Beth. Looking forward to all that stuff tonight. And like she said, we're probably not going to find out until 11 a.m. Saturday who will be playing quarterback for the Bison. But we want to invite you to join us an hour and a half ahead of kickoff for our Farmers Union Insurance Bison Football pregame show. We'll be live in Frisco with the very latest. All the fun begins at 930 Saturday morning. We hope you'll join us on KBOY or online at valleynewslive.com.